All right, I'll go. I'll give out Warriors minus four point five as the second play. Uh, still available in quite a few spots and starting to move on to the five. And pretty much anytime you'll hear me on a podcast, whether it be buckets with Sean or anyone else, I will talk about NBA key numbers. And I will say five is the second most common outcome in NBA games. And it is the most common spread number that results in a push. So if you are observing a market that's moving from four and a half on to the five or through the five, then simply obtaining that closing line value is kind of blind value. I kind of remove the basketball and the who's playing. And if you told me, Sean, I could have every closing line at five at really a minus 4.5, sign me up because of the frequency of that outcome in NBA games. Tack on the basketball angle. I'm kind of low on the Siakam Pacers. Halliburton is in the worst shooting slump of his life talking about being used as a prop and and people being mad at him i do feel bad for him for that but (laughs) he is ice cold and laying bricks out there um and then you get on the other side the warriors if you want to go motivation and what we've seen because i i do like the idea of using motivation for what we've seen not forecasting they need this but they've shown that they're going for this whether we use like the nuggets example or that we use the brooklyn nets have shown they don't really care at all if we look to the warriors you can sense that they are playing with that sense of urgency right now they're doing all they can to at least get that nine seed game at home and try and crawl into that seven eight so they are very much playing sense of urgency basketball right now I am fading the Indiana Pacers. I think this is a key number spot. I think the market is moving too. So Warriors minus 4.5 is probably my strongest play of the night. Yeah, this is an interesting spot because, yes, the first of all, they have to go to San Francisco where the we, we know that's where the Warriors play their better ball. Four and a half moving to five is an interesting number. And the reason that is a key number, just to to, to break it down for Fiddle and the people a little bit more, Fiddle's point is that's when we're starting to push two full possessions. Foul, slow up. No one's trying to foul at the end of games because it's two full possessions. Game's done and dusted. That's why that four and a half, five is such a key range. I don't know what's going on with Tyrese Halliburton. It's uh, the confidence seems to be shot a little bit overall. His style of play is a very mental style. When everything was going really well, I think a perfect example of it is if you go back and think about the in-season tournament, he was playing his best ball by a long shot throughout this year, and the confidence was just through the roof. He was doing the damn time stuff. He was running the floor. <laughs> he was making the he, – he was having three, four, five games in a row with no turnovers. That, like does, that, that type of stuff just doesn't even make any sense, right? So he's completely locked in. Since that, that confidence has shaken a little bit, the jumper's not falling like it was prior. Benedict being out, I think, has hurt them more than I thought it would, to be completely honest. Matherin being off the floor for the Pacers has been tough. But this is also a game that st- – this is th- this style that Indi- Indiana plays, I think especially in San Francisco, plays right into the hand of the Golden State Warriors. I agree with you. If I was only going to – if I was going to go one way, I would have to lay – the four and a half before it got to five with the Golden State Warriors. 